attracting more of what you want and less of what you don't want. Have you wondered something you wanted, you need, and you focus on that, and it comes in front of you. You're thinking about the person you've, you've been trying to reach or get in touch with, and suddenly out of blue, you get a telephone call from them. Or you've been in a difficult situation at work or in your personal life, you have been thinking and certain incidents happen in front of you and voila, you have your answer, you have your solution to it. Some people call these as coincidences or serendipity. Mr. Toastmaster, Mr. Evaluator, members and my dear guest. All these incidences are evidences that law of attraction works in everybody's life in one way or the other. Law of attraction is defined as something that I attract more, which I give attention, energy, and focus to. Remember, attention, energy, and focus. Brian Tracy, one of a well-known author, says in his book, when he talks about law of attraction, we are a living magnet. We attract more what we think about what and the people, the circumstances, and the situations we are put in because those dwell in our conscious mind and we bring that in our future as our experiences. To understand more about law of attraction, we need to understand the term vibrations. What is a vibe? A vibe is an emotion or a feeling. We attach because of something what we feel from someone or something that happened in our life. If you open a dictionary, any word which is associated with feeling can be categorized into positive or negative. Negative feelings such as anger, hatred, or I'm sad, or positive feelings such as happy, accomplishment, abundance in life. These are all the positive vibrations. Do you notice the vibes that generates when we utter these sentences and the feelings what we feel? The vibrations are so important. So law of attraction can be categorized into two categories to make you understand better and experience it. One is non-deliberate attraction. Through not deliberate, though you're a positive person, still you attract negative things in your life. Like suppose some people you would have come across in your life, in your friends, colleagues, relatives, or your personal circle, they always wonder why it keeps happening to me again and again. Why it keeps happening, I don't wonder. Though I'm positive, I'm focusing on the right things of life, but still why this pattern happens in my life? You know what? It's because of observation. Is through the observation they are passing a negative why and the law of attraction works for them too. How? Because they are vibrating more and more of a negative thought through their vibration, and that is and the universe is giving more and more of that so that they experience the negative feeling. So the better way to do is through a deliberate attraction by using words. I cannot tell you people how important words play in our life. To give you uh, just an example, for some people, when they say homework, they're excited if they already know about it or if they're right students. And for the pe some people, oh, homework, I have to go home and do, no, I don't like it. You would have heard from your kids. For some people, money, money means for salespeople, wow, it's an achievement, it's an award. And for some people, no, I'm broke. You know, the words is different for each people. The vibrations, what it carries. You know, like our subconscious and our conscious mind behaves in a certain way. To, ex um, to demonstrate this, I would like everybody to close your eyes for a few seconds. Now, I want you guys, do not think about Statue of Liberty. Do not think about snowstorm. Now you can open your eyes. I'm sure 
the one you, the thought or that came to your mind is Statue of Liberty. Though my instruction said, do not think about Statue of Liberty. It said, no, do not think about snowstorm. Still our mind did. Why? Because our mind, the filters out words like don't, not, and no. So, my dear friends, I request, instead of using negative expressions in your daily language, focus more on positive expressions. We usually use sentences like, don't panic, don't worry. Instead, we could use, remember to call me. Instead of saying, don't worry, I can say, stay calm. Because by using more positive vibrations and using these tools, and we just focus on more on what I actually want, what I actually want to convey. That is our goal, right? So the easy and effective tool is to become aware of our thoughts, our vibrations, and our feelings associated because law of attraction works everywhere. I would like to conclude my law of attraction with the quote from Napoleon Hill. Positive thoughts are the negative vibrations. All 